in this video I explain the counter function on a FX5U CPU from Mitsubishi also used for the readout of an encoder. Hello and welcome back this is Gerd Zeller from Zeller Press Control Systems and off we go. First of all um, I show you how to change the parameter on the CPU which you can find in the navigation window on the left side in the section parameters fx5 u cpu parameters module parameters and there is a section that says high speed io with a double click you can open this once this is open you find an input function right here and then it says uh, high speed counter settings with a double click you open this one and here you can see you can set the high speed counter values for a or the high speed counter parameters for eight channels in our case we will just use the channel one and as it is with all the parameters you can uh, change this to use or not use we will have a normal operation mode and as it is for the encoder i do have a two-phase 90 degree uh, encoder which you can see the explanation on here just one moment the actual faces are 90 degree offset in order to find out the direction which direction the encoder is turned and if you can see here if the if the the phase a is high and the phase b gets a rising edge it will count up and also vice versa with the phase A low and the phase B for as falling edge it will count up and vice versa it will count down. And the setting for this is just the two phase one multiple and the section right here the preset input will not be important for now we will have this in a different video also the uh, preset value the enable we have all on disable and as it goes for the input check you can see which inputs are actually used so in this case we have the high speed count set on the channel one which is the a and b phase on the x on the input x0 and x1 and the response time in this case is set to the factory setting to 10 milliseconds which is too slow to read out so we go to ok here make a check and oh, sorry and apply the settings close this window apply the settings And then we have to change the input response time, which is a section that opens automatically. And also you can find it right below the high speed IO settings on the navigation window. And I will just set this to the lowest response time to 10 microseconds. So we make sure we get every pulse from the encoder also check this no error found and do not forget to apply all right so that's for this and now we need to make an instruction which you can find in the help file that's the section right here and here it says h i o a a nope h e o E N, which is the in, which, is, which is the instruction for the high speed counter and it looks somewhat like this so uh, in order to set the function number you need to put in the the channel zero and we need the high speed function so we put in a k1 which is described anywhere here i'm not sure if i can find it right now either way we just go ahead go back to our program 
make a new POU. We call the POU high speed counter respectively encoder set right here. Okay, that's it. And in order to get this to work, we need a normally open with the SM400, which is always high. And then we put in the HIO N, put in the K0, K1, K0, and push OK, and that should be already it. And in order to read out which address we will um, find the value, we'll go back to the special register in the help file and here it says SD4500 is the current value on the channel 1 and this we can we can just write down in the watch window right here and then after this make a rebuild check if everything's okay no errors, no warnings. Write the file to the CPU. Do need to go ahead and reset the CPU. Once the CPU is reset, go to the watch window, start watching. And if I now turn the encoder, you can see the value changing. If it goes forward, or if I turn it in this case to the left side, it counts up. And if I turn it to the left, right side it counts down but you need to be aware it also goes in the negative value so this is maybe something that you need to take care of that you do not go to the negative value and this is pretty much it on this video how the encoder works with an fx5u from mitsubishi thank you for watching